This is how to set a watch by producer Michael. <laughs> I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. So guys, I've been spending money again. No change. No. I bought some more watches. And I'm going to show you, and I think you'll be proud of me this time because they're very different to my usual shopping craziness. So Adam, you've already seen them. Do you think they're different? Do you think they're better? You've definitely gone on a little stylistic change with this latest batch. I know, and I think it's cool though, don't you? I, they're very cool actually, yeah. So where should we start? Top right, because you said, you said in the last video that you were gonna go in and trade watches for that. Yeah, maybe we can do a deal with this one. Yeah. I would wear this. Yeah, I, would, I really would yeah. wear this. Did you just go and buy it? I did. Well, I didn't want to go through all the trade thing, but we'll do that on camera. We will do a trade thing, but I didn't want this one to disappear because it's so unique. Should we start with this? Yeah, show everybody what you bought. Okay. This is a 44 millimeter AP Offshore, and it's the Ryder Cup Edition. And what this one is, is the European edition. They made it in two versions, 50 pieces of each watch. This one is for Europe, the yellow and the blue, and the US version was red and blue. And it's very, very, very rare. Let me open it up so you can get a better look at it. And so for, I people, can't that, open it up. <laughs> for people that might not have seen the video, we went to Happy Jewelers, and this was in one of the boxes that they showed us. Yes, it was in the big boy box. So check that out. Is that super cool or what? It's very you, isn't it? Very me. And very rare. So I you say one of 50? One of 50. So there's 100 in total, 50 in the blue and yellow, and 50 in the red and blue. I'd like to get a red and blue one as well, so I've got the full set. Yeah, absolutely. Very hard to come by. And these are one of those watches that are selling for silly prices. Uh, way over the sticker. I think the sticker on this was like 60 grand. And I think there is one online for 130 something. Uh, I got a fantastic deal from, from Danny at Happy Jewelers. So uh, yeah, I can't, I can't go wrong. What, did you what do you think? What did you pay? Not that much above retail. Yeah. Get out of town. Yeah, so that's pretty cool, right? Wow. I mean, he really, really took care of me on this. So. Uh, Beautiful piece. I mean, it's interesting because obviously over the course of the channel, we've seen pretty much every watch, I think, or every main manufacturer watch there is out there. Right. We've never seen one of those. No, I've never seen, I didn't even know it existed. But it's a very me watch. It's not blingy, it is a bit flashy, but it also kind of looks like, I don't know, something that you could go walk your dog in, right? Do you know, you're right, absolutely. Do you know what I'm actually, and this is a very odd thing for me to say, but I'm excited to see you wearing that with one of your like super colorful outfits. Cause you haven't done the, the really colorful I know, I've been while. tame, haven't I? I know. Well maybe, cause we've got an upcoming trip to Vegas, haven't we? We do indeed. Maybe you can get wild in Vegas and do some. get very wild in Vegas. <laughs> so there you go, AP Ryder Cup. Very nice, what's next? Let's do this one. Now this one is another amazing watch. This is a Chrono Swiss and it is absolutely spectacular. It's in, purple DLC and it's a retrograde. Do you know what a retrograde is? I don't. Okay, so what that means is if you watch this guy here, this is the second hand, Okay. focus on it right. and watch what happens when it gets to the 30 seconds, every 30 seconds. Oh, it's gonna snap back, isn't it? Bang! <gasps> Bang! <gasps> That's cool. Isn't that cool? That's... And then the top uh, subdial is the hours and the main hand is the minutes. Wow. And isn't this beautiful? Look at the back of it. So that's called a retrograde. Retrograde. The yeah. one that we saw on Jacob's jet was called a flyback. Flyback, yes, flyback. And but Which, that thing was really like super fast, wasn't it? Super it, fast. Every what was it? Like every 10 seconds it something, did it? Something like that. So why is that called a flyback and this called a retrograde? I don't know. <laughs> Nico, help us out. But what I can tell you is this is absolutely stunning. Isn't that a gorgeous piece? Yeah, I mean- Chrono I, Swiss. I love the fact that the dial is so different because that K shape honestly isn't my favorite, but the dial is awesome. And so Chrono Swiss, I've never heard of them before. Been around a long, long time. Uh, I've owned Chrono Swiss in the past. Uh, in fact, I, I still have a Chrono Swiss, an Opus. 
and it's from, I don't know, maybe 25 years ago. It's small, that's why you've never seen me wear it. But this is a 44 millimeter and a very serious and beautiful, beautiful watch. It's cool. It's so cool. It, oh, I like the clasp as well. Turn that over. The fact that they've DLC'd the uh, Everything's clasp Everything's purple, too. yeah. Isn't that neat? Yeah. And this band, it's kind of like a Velcro. Um, I'm not sure what it's, it's not Velcro. Like a Kevlar-y type. Yeah, I like Maybe that. Maybe like a very heavy duty canvas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like that. Yeah, great watch. So there we have it. Chrono Swiss. So I will say that this is two, look at those next to each other, two very, very early days producer Michael colorways right there. We're kind of going back to the, the color. And I'm not in, mad about but it. But in style, I, right? Yeah, absolutely. No I'm, diamonds, nothing going on there. I'm not, I'm not mad about it. No, well, it's, I'm it's very happy to hear that you're I not I feel mad like about COVID it. killed your colors. Very tame producer Michael shirt. Exactly. But it's still fun, but yeah. it's a tame one, and I didn't want to overwhelm the watches, so I gave it some <laughs> thought. Okay, where are we going next? Let's go. Let's, let's go, hold on, before we go there, what's this? Is so this is Davis Elvin? This is Davis Elvin, this is their new I, one. I haven't seen that face. No, nope, you haven't. Um, very inexpensive, it's about, when I say very inexpensive, it's not inexpensive, but it's great value. It's about four grand or somewhere around there. It's as good as, I don't want to mention the name, it keeps the time perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> it looks fantastic. It's made of carbon and it's just a nice watch. Yeah. And you can get it on the Producer Michael site. How about that for a plug? That's a very, very nice plug. Yeah, that, I mean, <laughs> like you say, when you, when you feel them and when you actually have one in your hand. It's exactly the same. They're not, they're not far off, are no, they? <laughs> not, not far off. And like a tenth of the price. Car and this is a, like yeah. a, a crushed or forged carbon, isn't it? Yeah. Almost looks like wood grain. It's carbon and titanium. Yeah, that's very cool. All right, what's next? All right, let's go with something very, very peculiar. This is a Vortec watch. You've never heard of Vortec? I have not heard of Vortec. Okay, so what this in fact is, it's an old pocket watch that they took and they completely rebuilt. Wow. So I chose this. This is, a, I think it's an El, Elgin. What does that say? Uh, where are we looking? El, Elgin? Elgin, El, Elgin? Yeah. yeah, which is a, a very well-known uh, pocket watch from, I guess, the early 1900s. And uh, they renovated it. They reworked the movement. Movement's fantastic. I love, you see like the spirals on the, uh, the two gears there. I think there's a word for that. Guilloche? Is that it? No, it might be. <laughs> Killed it. So someone was wearing that in the early 1900s. Yeah. You know, walking around wherever, and now producer Michael. Did you hear that? I did. Okay. Was that your minute repeater? That, uh, that, that was. That was. No, uh, not we're, minute we're, repeater. Our striker. Our striker. There you go. Our striker. It also does the quarters, but that happened to do an hour because it's 11 o'clock. We'll get to that one. But is this cool? I. Do you know what? I really like that, mate. Really. And are these expensive? I think. Somewhere in the realm of $6,000. Okay, so not um, inexpensive. No, but you can get them for a lot less. Depends on what you want. You yeah. pick the dial, you pick the case, you pick everything. You're What's the case customer. made from? Is it steel? I don't know. Are they heavy? No. Oh, wow. It's light. Light, yeah. super light. Might be titanium. I'm not sure to tell you the truth. That, do you know what? I just I, know it's a cool watch. I love the gold on the, and the fact that it's slightly embossed on You'd the You'd wear dial. this watch. Do you know what? I think I would. I think, which is strange to say because it's very obviously traditional, but that's cool. It's almost steampunky. Yeah, and with the winder on the top, mm -hmm. just very, very cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, three for three. I am impressed. I'm delighted you're impressed. <laughs> Shall I do my big boy watch? Go on then. This is my pride and joy. This is just incredible. It's your favorite watch I've ever bought, right? I, I just love this watch. I've been looking at one of these for ever, and it comes in different configurations. This is the striking hour, which is the kind of the top of the line. I think it is their top of the line one. Um, this activates it so you can silence it, or you can have it where it chimes every hour and then again every 15 minutes. Listen. That's I think they, so cool. That just switched it on, I think. And you see how they move? Yeah, do it again. I love that. That's so satisfying. And if I, if I was to change the time, let's advance the time to 14 and then 
it will chime itself when it gets to 15, which so, we're going to have to wait 45 seconds for. But so I'll show you the back of it. <laughs> and it came with a Tang bottle, uh -huh. a Tang buckle, and uh, Happy Jewelers, where I bought it, I ordered, and they got it for me very quickly, the deployment clasp, which I think is it's really nice white gold deployment clasp. Look at the back of it. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. And Langer make one of the best movements ever. If, wow. I, if I have it set properly, it'll chime. Let's see. Yay! Did it! Did you catch it? Yeah. Okay, cool. I've wanted one of these for probably three or four years. We did a video with Kevin O'Leary. He has the slightly smaller version. I think he has the 42 millimeter. This is the 44 millimeter. And he doesn't have the striking time. <laughs> but what? <laughs> yeah, right? Well. <laughs> what a flex. Sorry, I didn't mean it that way. I meant it as a differentiator so between the, the watches. He's got okay. the smaller, less complicated, cheaper version. He does. <laughs> he does. <laughs> it's like a digital watch because it's a digital analog watch. I thought, can I bring myself to actually do it? And then I looked into it and the, the complication to actually create this is insane. And then you throw the striking hour on top of it it's one of the most complicated and most beautiful watches ever. It just feels gorgeous. It's heavy. Is it? Yeah. I don't think I've, yeah, I haven't even, oh yeah, it is, isn't it? Wow. Isn't that stunning? It's beautiful, mate. Yeah, I, I really, really do like that. Um, and so for people that didn't watch the video where we saw it in Happy Jewelers, uh, how much, what's the retail? And then what did the you get it the for? The retail on this is about 140,000. Okay. And I paid 125 for it. Okay. Which was a, a great deal. Yeah. They're very hard to come by. Um, it, it was brand new when, it, when I bought it, although this is a discontinued model. They discontinued it, I believe in 2020. Okay. Uh, and is there a newer version? No, okay. not, not that I know of. Whew. Lucky, because um, otherwise Kevin might buy it and then stunt yeah, like you. You have to buy a used one. <laughs> So this is another German watch. This is Glashütte, uh, which is the same city as Lange is made in Germany. Another beautiful watch, also from Happy Jewelers. Bought this one, I saw it. <laughs> this is not uh, an ad for Happy Jewelers, but it should this be. This is not, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it should be, right? Moon phase, I think that's moon phase. Date, hours and seconds, and it's a gorgeous green color, green alligator and just a very, very pretty watch. Micro rotor on the back. How do you like that? I said micro rotor. <laughs> that's very technical. What do you think of it? That case shape isn't my favorite, but these but, ones- oh, that... You're wearing a round watch, Adam. I mean, it's, it's round. Like, but it, no, <laughs> I, I get what you're saying. I, I mean more just this like- Traditional. Round with the crown and then that's it. Like, you know, I know this has got the, the like the knurling on it as well. But typically, I like there to be a bit more going on. However, because these dials are so nice, I love them. This is a pretty watch. Right? Yeah, yeah. Are you shocked to see me get something like this? Do you know what I am? And do you know what I'm even more shocked about? The fact you've bought so many watches that you never told me about. Not for people watching at home, normally when Michael buys a new watch, immediately he calls me and goes, Adam, guess what? Guess what I got? Guess what I got? I'll send you a picture. I just text you a picture. I told you about that, I think, didn't Yeah, I? you did. You did tell me that. Um, but the other You others, were with me when I bought that. I was. This um, one, no idea about. Didn't no. know about that. This one, you mentioned, but I didn't know that you had got it. That one, definitely not. And like those, more. those in the box, yeah. Okay. Oh, well, one of those in the box I've seen. Two of those in the box I've seen. I think the list on it is somewhere around eleven or 12,000, and this was 7,500 bucks. Actually. Rolex President. It's a president, but this is the Rolex Quartz. Quartz? Quartz. It's from the a quartz late... quartz Rolex? Yeah, from the late 80s. And the reason that I bought this, um, it's a little on the small side, but it doesn't look that bad on the wrist. Let me show you. Was it 38? 36. Oh, th wow. But okay. it doesn't look 36 when it's on. It actually looks quite substantial. Oh, it does actually, doesn't right? it? Right? Nice looking watch. A quartz so, Rolex. So it's quartz, yeah. Watch the second hand. Uh, Looks like a fake, really, doesn't it? <laughs> but it's not. Isn't that, that cool? That's so weird to see a Rolex ticking. Yeah. So I bought this from Peter Sedgy at uh, Lecture Jewels of Beverly Hills. He called me and said, oh, I've just bought something that you might like. And I thought to myself, well, why would I want this? But this watch is complete with its original box, all its original papers, everything that came with it. 
And that's very, very rare for a watch of this age. I mean, gosh, it's what, 35 years old? Wow. And that's older than me. It's never been polished and it's still, let me close that so you can see. That's how you judge the wear. It's very little wear. Talk to people about a saggy bracelet. What does that mean? Well, a lot of these watches, they'll, they'll just crumble down and that's the wear between the links because it's gold. Yeah. But this one doesn't have it and it's in immaculate condition for an unpolished that's... original watch complete with absolutely everything it came with. Even the box, it's a big brown leather box and it says Oyster Quartz on it. I'd never seen one before and I thought, well, uh, for, for the money I paid for it. Which was? 12 grand. Wow. You know, I, I thought, you know, it's a lot of money, but 12 grand. So do you know what I actually yeah. really like about that? Nothing. No, <laughs> I, I love it. You like I love it. You like that it's different. So not only is it a precedent, right? So, yes. I mean, when it's people- a day date. When people, is that not what they call the precedent? Yeah, yes, but right. it's, yes. <laughs> But the fact that not only is it a president, which is a very iconic Rolex, like when, when you think of like Wolf of Wall Street, yes. the gold Rolex, yes. like that, this is, this is it. Yeah, so, the used car dealer, <laughs> right? The, the, <laughs> I mean, I was going a bit more up class, but uh, you know, but the, not just the fact that it's that one, but the fact that you have a talking point over the fact that it is a quartz, which right. No, I had no idea. And you no never, idea. You'd never see anybody wearing one of these. And the bracelet, although it looks like the, the presidential bracelet, is, is flat. It's a thin, yeah. flat bracelet. And it has a taper to the case. So it, the whole thing is a little bit unique. Okay, next one. I see another gold Rolex. You want to do that one or you want to do this? Let's do the gold one. Yeah. Get the gold out of the way. So this is another one that I got from Happy Jewelers. Gosh, <laughs> this is a big plug for Happy Jewelers. I love this watch and I love the dial. So this is the 18 carat sea, not sea dweller, <laughs> sky dweller, sky dweller. And this is the most complicated watch that Rolex make. The bezel turns somehow like this. And th what that does is it makes the crown do different things. So if you see at 10 o'clock, that little red dot, yeah. that's the month that says that we are in October. Although we are not in October, let me see if I can make that go to January. This is where I embarrass myself. Switch the camera off. No, okay. that's the date. Hold on, that's still the date. Turn that. I'm not doing anything. Wait. Oh, look. So the hand, the hour hand goes by itself and everything's moving, I don't know. That, that's not, let's try this. That's the oh, look, that moved. Maybe it's this one. No. Isn't it if you rotate it the other way, the uh, the, the crown? Well, that's the hands. Oh look, everything's moving now. <laughs> okay, which way did I go this way? I don't know how to do it. Maybe this goes in. It has different places. Does that do it? No. This is how to set a watch by producer Michael. <laughs> I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. No. That doesn't go any further. Oh well, you've done it before. I have, I made it You don't it need to before. prove yourself to no one. No, but now switch the camera off, I have to figure this out. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> uh, where was I? So this is, um, I traded a watch for this. I didn't actually buy it. I traded my Gold, Gold Submariner with, with a matte, matte blue <laughs> dial, which I subsequently learned was a very rare watch because I just thought it was a regular one, but it turns out it was a rare one. Not to um, laugh at your, well, it wasn't misfortune, but not to laugh at you, but <laughs> when he told you that on camera, and I know that's the first time you had heard it, your face was a picture. I can imagine. <laughs> Yeah, well, I didn't know. I, I, I mean, I wouldn't have traded it. I would have just bought this, but... Why don't you buy yours back? They'll do you a good deal. They want too much money for it. <laughs> Rightly so, I should do my homework, right? So I'll leave that. And there. honestly, that's not like you to not know, especially with like a Rolex. I understand with some of these more obscure brands, but that's not like you to not know what you're exactly buying. I thought a Submariner only came in one color. I didn't, a gold with blue was yeah. gold with blue. And it I came from an AD, know. right? It came from an AD. Yeah, now. and they didn't tell you. No, it was just, here's your Submariner. 
I don't think and they you, knew. So look at this one. This is huge. I love that. Okay, so this is the James Cameron Sea Dweller. And this one can go to where no man can go. Yep. It's, well, actually, they have a new one now that I know, goes like 4,000 miles or something stupid. It's ridiculous. Have you it's seen like, how big it is compared to that? It's like this. Yeah. So it's like wearing big Ven on your wrist. Yeah. But this is a great watch. And let me show you a trick about this that not many people know this does. Are you ready? Yeah. You'll like this. So when you wear the watch, you have this regular, the, the clasp, mm -hmm. you put it on and it fits, you know, the way it's supposed to fit. Yeah, right? absolutely. Now, let's say you've got your wetsuit on. I know. You're gonna like this. I know what it does. You know what it does? You don't think I know what a dive watch does? What does it do? It gets bigger so you but can But how does it. this get bigger? This is not like the Submariner. You rub on it. You pull this up. Yeah. Like that. And then it whoop. And then it expands. Look at that. Is that the coolest thing yep. ever? Look at that. That's a very trick movement. Actually, I just called that a movement. Technically, that is a mechanism. Mechanisms? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't upset somebody, right? <laughs> But is that cool or what? I mean, what a great way of doing it. On a, no, it's made it way too big. Um, on a Submariner, uh -huh. it has an extra little link on the inside that pops, so. And that's not even for a wetsuit. What's if you have a big dinner? What is it for? <laughs> well, isn't that just like the micro adjustment? Yeah, I think, no, it, it actually makes it substantially bigger. It does, I think it, it's for a wetsuit. A, we a, we a wetsuit? wetsuit? Yeah, because yeah, I know obviously that is so that you can switch it from over your wetsuit to just... To, to, <gasps> did you hear that again? I did hear oh. it. It's over there. I like that. Look, 11.30, bing! That's so cool. Yeah. And then when it gets to the hour, it goes ding dong! <laughs> How's it go? <laughs> ding dong! <laughs> yeah, this is one of my favorite Rolexes of all time. It's got that helium escape valve on the side. Yes. And this is the, I think, believe it's the 1366. The brand, so brand new The brand, one. brand new yeah. one, yeah. I do like those. So, yeah. So, do you know what they did for the marketing for that? Or for, not for this one, but for the, the one before? They outdid a submarine. Well, they put it on the arm of the ROV that James Cameron went, well, I guess it wasn't ROV, it was a submarine. When James Cameron went down to the bottom, I believe it was the Marianas Trench. Oh, that's right. And I so heard they that, yeah. strapped this to the arm, so they were down there, like, you know, picking stuff up. And yeah, it was on the outside and it survived. And How the dial cool is, is gorgeous, right? I love it. Do you know what the dial signif signifies? Is it depth of the ocean? I believe it is. Mm. Yeah. So mm. you know my Seiko mod that I have? Yes. That has my, it's a paddy dial and it's that exact same thing. It's that blue to black gradient. I love it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Fun piece. Yeah. So yeah, there we have it. For someone that's not buying any more watches, <laughs> uh, I, I, bought, uh, I bought a few more watches. <laughs> and how much are these? This is, um, I want to say 16, 15,000, 16,000, somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. I don't remember exactly, but it's, it's somewhere around there. And, and I think you bought it from an AD? I bought it from Happy Jewelers. Oh, get out of here! <laughs> I swear to God. I really? Did. Yeah. I paid MSRP for it from Happy Jewelers, yeah. Gee, I, yeah, I had no idea that you had gotten all of this from them. Yeah. And that's so funny that we met them, what, two months ago? About three months three ago. Three months? Yeah, three months ago. <laughs> and it's like, uh, yeah, uh, I went shopping. <laughs> well, there it is. Hope you like the new toys. I certainly do. It'd be lovely if I was able to wear them. Um, hopefully times will change where it gets a bit safer. These are going straight back into the bank, but one day they'll come back out. If you need someone to look after this one, then um, I'll, if, you know, if you run out of space in the, in the vault. Actually, talk of running out of space. I actually am running out of space. I have oh, to get perfect. another. Yeah, yeah, just have uh, to get I'll, another. I'll another, pop that. Another box. I'll pop that back. But uh, yeah, so guys, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell if you want one of these. Producermichael.com. You can get one. It's a very cool watch. Uh, what am I missing? Anything? Um, no. Subscribe. Follow subscribe. on Instagram. Uh, uh, there's a new Spanish channel. Producer Michael en español. So uh, it's not me speaking in Spanish, it's the, the entire channel is going to be uploaded in Spanish, fully dubbed, professionally dubbed, so that those of you that uh, have Spanish as a first language, you might enjoy it even more. So uh, check it out, subscribe to it, tell your friends that it exists, um, tell anybody else, even if they're not your friends that it exists. As long as they're Spanish, or speak Spanish. They don't even have to speak <laughs> Spanish. Just tell them it exists and tell them to subscribe. Thank you. I guess that's it. Adam? That's it. Say something. Something. Bye. Bye.